Welcome back, I'm Curtis Smith. It's that time of the year when people are beginning to harvest tomatoes and they're seeing a lot of strange things. So we've brought in some of the things people have sent to us so that we can show you some things that happen to even the best tomato growers and answer some questions in the process. We've got one right here. It's kind of uh, mushy, soft. Got this big yellow spot. Got a crack here that came from drying out and then rewatering. But we see this yellow stippling, and that may have something to do with more of what we're seeing over here. This yellow stippling is from insect feeding on it. And so as they pierce it and suck some juices out, they kill some cells, and that interfered with the development of the fruit in that area. So that's what's going on in this one. We see all these little tiny yellow stipples. Now, if you see more like this and big blotches over it, there's a disease called tomato spotted wilt virus. And that tomato spotted wilt will cause it to have blotches over it. It will not ripen properly. And so that's another possibility. Here's one, interesting, you'll see this a lot. This could be any of several things. This may have been where a stem was rubbing against it. So as in the wind, it would rub back and forth and that just scarred the fruit some. So it's a real common thing that you have with tomatoes. And again, you see the stippling from the insect feeding here. As we look over at uh, some of these others, uh, a good one here. This one may be blossom end rot. This dead spot here, it's not dead opposite the stem, but that's because it caused this side to malform and this side continued to develop. This is due to a lack of calcium reaching the end of the fruit. Calcium is necessary to allow these cells to form properly. So without the calcium, it causes this necrotic area, it dies and it begins to rot. But the real problem is the lack of calcium. And here in New Mexico, the soil has plenty of calcium. So don't go out and add calcium to your soil. What's happening here is that the calcium is carried to the end of the fruit in the irrigation water. And as you irrigate, the calcium carries out there, but in a dry day, the plant starts to wilt. This is the last place to get water. And so the calcium is not getting to this part of the plant. And so at that point, it starts dying. So uh, this is due to a water problem in New Mexico. Shade helps, wind breaks help, but you're gonna have some of this. It's just a common problem that you have with tomatoes in New Mexico. As we look at other things, see this where a bird pecked it. And so this is nothing more than something that bit an insect or caterpillar may bite it. It may cave in here. Sometimes you can get uh, the tomato fruit worm which goes in and excavates in here that could cause that. But in a lot of cases, just a, an, an insect bite or a bird peck. And that's not anything to worry about. You probably wanna discard this one. It's not one that you wanna keep. And we'll look around at a lot of other things here. This one has just got a little scarring and a little bit of mud on it. That was mostly just mud in that case. A little bit of stippling, but this is an excellent tomato. This is the kind you want, and you get a lot of nice ones out of the garden. This is what you're looking for. Again, here we go. We've got some blossom end rot that's coming from the calcium problem. Again, it's a water problem. But we're also seeing some scarring in. This one looks very much like what happened was the plant wilted at some point. As it wilted, the stem went to the ground. The ground was hot and it essentially scalded itself when it touched the hot ground. So this was in late afternoon, the soil was hot, the tomato just kind of settled down to the ground and scalded itself. So you'll see a lot of different things, a lot of rots here. Some of these are due to disease, but most of these are just environmental factors, uh, insect problems, bird problems, common things that you find in the garden, nothing to really worry about. And so with these, Throw away those that aren't looking good and eat the others, enjoy them. The tomato is America's number one home garden vegetable.